All right. I got something really cool, so that's why I'm already smiling. Again, I'm really tired because I always end up doing these videos when I'm super exhausted. <laughs> but uh, I promise y'all, y'all are going to see more. I'm going to get a better prop to hold up the phone. It's coming. I got to go get it tomorrow. And you'll see more of the desk and the drop and everything for the unboxing videos. I'll still be streaming in the living room because I just like playing my games on the big TV. So I'm setting up something with that too. But if you check it out, I don't know if you guys can see with everything off. You can see, it. I don't want to move the phone because it's positioned just right right now. But you can see the PlayStation light, the Xbox light, and then I have that green lamp behind me that changes all multiple colors. So I got to position that a little bit better, and you'll be able to see it. But anyways, overall, I think this turned out pretty good. I can't wait to show you guys all of it and some pictures. There'll be some pictures on my Instagram. But I have a a piece of gaming history brand new in the box which to some of the older guys they can be like yeah yeah whatever we, we grew up it's cool to see but once they stop and think man i've been gaming since 1985 or sorry 1986 i was born i started literally playing nintendo i think in 1989 like i was barely old enough to even know what i was doing my dad said and uh you know, by 1990, Mario, Super Mario Brothers 3, I was hooked. I was hooked after that. That was that was it for me. I was done. So I've been gaming and big in the DVZ and things. By the way, sh repping the shirt my wife bought me. Great during the Frieza saga. And uh, th this is a, actually, I honestly think, is going to go up in value. Or is either going to be in the Gaming Hall of Fame. Because this is just something that others tried back then but they they hit the the ball out of the park with the way they did this you know that's what started that's what that's what you're thankful for with all these other uh gaming services and everything they're doing and what i have is they had different versions this was one of the earlier versions the xbox live starter kit brand new in the box is insane this is the one with a 12 month subscription card which i kind of wonder if it would still work if i put in the number in fact we're going to do a video and see xbox live communicator headset and the full version of crimson sky high road to revenge which is actually backwards compatible on the x and the series x so i don't know if you guys can see that too well because the lighting over here let's see plus focus it's really tough on this camera for some reason but either way I mean this is just this is just a piece of history guys like you open it up here and it tells you how to how to connect to your PC like old school stuff with the fucking AOL internet and shit that I mean this is straight out of 2001 and literally it has a list of the online games that were actually available to play at that time which is really cool because I didn't notice this at first I think it's got Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Island Thunder Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six bunch of NFL and NBA games um, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So I'm assuming some of these are probably for like DLC downloads. Cabell, Cabela's Deer Hunt, Dangerous Hunt, Unreal 2 The Awakening, Unreal Championship, All-Star Baseball, Inside Pitch, Crimson Skies that comes with it. Counter-Strike, Project Gotham Racing 2, Xbox Music Maker. I don't even, I don't even remember that. Burnout 2, Point of Impact, great game. I didn't even know that was online at that time. Um, where's another one? Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Tides of War, that was a great game. Soldier of Fortune, Dead Man's uh, Hand, Midnight Club 2, I remember that. Godzilla, Destroy All Humans. Um, Capcom versus SNK 2. Steel Battalion, I remember that one. 
Dance Dance Revolution, Kingdom Under Fire, Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2, huge, that was a big one, Sega GT Online, Toe Jam and Earl 3, Mission to Earth, which that was kind of fun, I want to kind of pick that game back up, Outlaw Volleyball, a lot of people seem to like that. Armed and Dangerous, I do remember that, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, and Mustman DLC. Black 9, um, 13, The Fast and Furious, I don't remember that on there. Run Like Hell, I remember that game. They should do a remake of that, the remaster of Run Like Hell, that would actually be pretty good nowadays. Um, Tetris Worlds, SWAT, Dead or Alive, Online, Ninja Gaiden, Coming Soon, Halo 2, and full spectrum more. So this was before Halo 2 was out. This is insane. It gives you the instructions on how to do it. The three ways to connect. I mean. This is just. You guys probably can't see it too well. Because of my setup. Maybe I'll have to go over this again. If you like this. You know. And want me to kind of show it again. I will. If it's not a big deal to some of y'all. I, I thought it was a big deal to me. I thought it was kind of cool. So they didn't have it hanging up with a price tag. You can find this at a pawn shop, guys. Or no, an antique shop. Not a pawn shop, sorry. An antique shop. So I don't have my knife with me right here, so I have a little cricket thing that has... So I am going to actually cut this seal for the first time you guys can see. That is the original seal, if you can see it. Look right there. It's kind of hard to see with the camera. Yep, see it? It's the original seal. I am going to cut it for the first time in probably what 20 plus years when did it what year did this come out this one came out in 2004 so this was a 2004 kit so i think they started xbox the original xbox was 2001 i think xbox live yeah it was 2003 or 2004 i'd have to look it up when it first started but I know this was an earlier kit for sure. So I got it opened up. Nothing too crazy in there. Let's see if I can pull the whole cardboard out. Nope, the whole cardboard doesn't want to come out. Alright. I may have been duped. It looks like there's some wrapping back in there. It may have been opened at one time. I think it's been opened. Well, sorry, it looks damn near new. So maybe it was opened and just stuffed back in there. I don't believe it was used, but I do think it was open now that I looked at it. Um, let's see. See, this is what I was talking about with the old stuff. Free issue, official playable first, the Halo, the, or the next Halo, free game disc with the Xbox official game magazine, talk about brute force. I mean, this was the shit. As a kid, I lived to get these things. Because you just sent them into the mail if you could get it, and you would just get cool shit constantly. And they just don't do this anymore. They don't do it. Let's see if I can turn the... That's a little bit better. Let's see if you guys see it now a little bit better. There we go. See Tony Hawk in there. The chick from Brute Force on the front. I mean, this was just. I wonder. It's no purchase necessary. I wonder if I sent this in. I'd have to look. This would be interesting just to try. Because I don't see any end dates on there. Even though I know they don't have Xbox Magazine anymore. I wonder if they'd have to send you old copies. Alright. Let's see. Let's see if this has been used. Ooh, guys, I don't think this has been used at all. So I do think this was a new kit. I wonder if it was just opened to be looked at and put back uh, together. Because it does not look in the slightest bit used. In fact, I think these are my first handprints on it. So, check this out. You want to see something cool back in the Xbox day? You guys can see that. Do you see that green cord? 
See that green like nylon see-through cord? That was just something cool that the Xbox did. They actually had the, the green see-through cords for a while. And uh, something I wish they'd come back with. So, let me see how I'd wear this. I can't even remember how you wear this one. I think it goes around the back. These were so uncomfortable, by the way. Like, they were not comfortable one bit. I think they were meant to wrap around your ear different ways. But they were so bad. Yeah, this doesn't even fit very well. <laughs> You see. Oh, this is a terrible fit. If you look at this, these were terrible. I think you could go back a little and you could switch it up. I know you could take it off the earpiece right here, so see. And you could swap sides. So you could actually take off the air piece and you can pop it on either side there, depending on if you like left or right. But this is still so bad. You're supposed to put your ears through this and this was so uncomfortable. Bad. Like they switched this up quickly. I remember they got a much better feeling headset. It was like the Xbox 360 headset uh, really quick because you can't even hear th through this yeah this is bad <laughs> and there's no adjustment on the top so yeah these were horrible then it looks like here's where it plugged into your controller yeah this hasn't even been opened up I don't even want to open that right there but if you guys can see this used to plug into the top of the controller if I can remember because they changed to the slim controllers afterwards, I think, slightly after this or around this time, to the smaller controller. And they had like a memory card port, I think I want to say I remember on top of them. It's been a while, guys. It's been a long while. Maybe I should buy another Xbox, just get my hands on it. Yeah, one on the top, because here's the instructions. Shows you how it's supposed to sit on your head. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, there you go. There's a picture of the controller right there. See how that one plugged in on top? Then you plug the mic into it. And that's how it's supposed to sit on the back of your head. That shit was terrible. That was the worst headset design ever. And they quickly, quickly changed that. That was bad. Let's see what this is. Xbox Live plug-in. Welcome to Xbox Live. So... Basically, I think this is just a guide to everything coming. Congratulations for joining and thriving Xbox Live community. And welcome to the greatest gaming experience you can imagine. This is where you'll be teaming up with friends as Spartans or Covenant in Halo 2 matches. Taking a, blah, blah, blah. Basically, take a, how about how cool it was. And honestly, this was cool. I mean, this is really when I myself got into online gaming for a big you know for console and a big thing for a lot of people when they started to get on the online gaming and you can see the old setup right there if you look at that it's right down there in the, the right hand corner that's how xbox live used to look right there it's just so crazy the memories talks about the different games how to voice chat How to do friends, advanced tips, alert, wow, all this stuff that's, some of it's not even existing now. Early release nights and when everybody would jump in and play. This is cool. The games of Xbox Live, so you got a whole list here. Conquer's Bad for a Day, Reimage, that was fun. I still have that actually. Wow, this is cool. Talks about Halo 2 coming. Talks about Doom 3 coming. This is all before that. 
Forza Motorsports when it was a new title. Look at that, brand new. Mortal Kombat Deception, Tom Clancy Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow, Star Wars Battlefront when the first Battlefront came out, Dead or Alive Ultimate. Wow. Look for Xbox Live Arcade. As before the arcade was even announced. Crimson Skies. Oh yeah, this is just nuts. Crazy, definitely, definitely a thing in history to go back into. It's just interesting to look at it all. So, what I don't see is an Xbox Live 12 month subscription. So, this one's the actual game, the Not for Resale, The Crimson Skies, High Road Revenge. Best Xbox Live game for 2003. Everybody raves about this game, to be honest with you. I have never played it. I think I played like the second of it or so, but I never actually played about it. And everybody said this was a really good game. So, you guys let me know if you play this. It is backwards compatible, and it is supposed to be updated. So, I will throw it in. It looks pretty dang good. The disc looks good. Look at that. Wow. But this looks brand new. Look at that. Wow. I'm disappointed that I don't got my 12 months. I want to see my 12 months and see if it still works. They need an instruction booklet. See, I wish games still came with an instruction booklet. Something just about having it. Look how crisp and clean that is. That's barely dented, pulled apart, any, wow, even the pictures are still sticking together, wow, I'm dropping it because it's so tight, I don't want to bend it open, that's cool, this is in incredible shape, so everything in here guys is amazing shape, except for, I don't see the card, 12 month subscription card, so, I think I did get duped. I think this has been opened before. But, hey, everything else is in amazing, amazing shape. And the card probably wouldn't have worked anymore anyways, but... It still would have been cool to have it, because it would have been part of the history. Unless I'm missing it somewhere. Which I don't think so. Either way, guys, this was pretty cool. I had to do a, a uh, unopening box on there. Or unboxing, sorry. I want some move right there. There we go. Xbox Live. Play online now. There is a little slip of cardboard in there. I wonder if I can get that out. Yeah, it seems to be pretty much in there. I was wondering if possibly the, uh, the subscription card got tossed in between it or something. But either way, that's pretty cool. I'm excited. It's part of gaming history. I actually think that is pretty damn neat. Back when they put it in boxes that looked like a PC game box. That's just... It's funny, man. It's funny. I remember seeing these. I remember seeing these on the shelf. And being so broke at the time. That I never thought I'd be able to even play online. I, I finally had a buddy. And I experienced playing Halo online for the first time. And that... It was like a shocker. And now these kids have no clue what it's like not to have online access. Like I always wanted it on my Sega Dreamcast and I, I couldn't get it. And uh, I don't know. Just going back to this. This was like gold for a while. It really was before they called it Xbox Live Gold. 
So either way, another video, guys. Sorry, I'm so damn tired. But I had to do that. I wanted to open up, see it. And uh, I think that's a cool experience. So you guys have a good night. I'll be back on for other videos soon with better lighting and a little bit more awake. <laughs> but uh, I had to do that. That's just cool. I think any of the uh, old Xbox fans will enjoy that. Have a good night, guys.